So I wanted to uh, tell you about my friend Ernie. Um, <clears throat> I believe uh, Ernie was a diagnosed schizophrenic, and uh, I never really saw him take any meds, you know. And uh, he was really fascinating. He had these like really far out fascinating stories, you know. And some of the crap, you know, you look it up and you find out that it was true, you know. Just really far fetched stuff. Anyway, he goes back in his bedroom. He used to have some barbecues over there uh, where he lived in a trailer in Big Pine. And uh, he, uh, he comes out with a, a fold out out of a National Geographic. And it was like our solar system, you know, and all these different planets and stuff. And he says, uh, I've only been this far, like, to this planet here, and he points to something, I don't know what it was. And uh, I looked at him, I said, that's all the further you've been, Ernie? And he kind of just got like a look of dismay on his face, you know, like, what, what do you mean? Well, anyway, he had some other good stories, too. He lived over here and then was explaining to me how there were caves under the island, and then there were dinosaurs living down there, and whenever there was, like, any, like, maybe vibrations in the earth or something. It was a dinosaur was rearing their heads up and hitting the top of the cave with their snouts, you know. So one day I turned them loose in this little catamaran that I had. And man, that guy could, I, I was amazed. He, he could kill the shit out of that thing. And uh, so he had like all these kind of really cool, I think he may have been autistic too, and he had these really like islands of knowledge, you know quite fascinating and anyway so we're having this barbecue over in his yard and uh the fire's kind of getting low you know and we want to cook some and, uh, i see ernie with a, a gallon can of gas you know, across the yard no and he's, he's he's beelining for the fire and I'm, no ernie don't do it and he did it anyway well fortunately it wasn't full but what